Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create our Next.js app. So as you can see, I opened my terminal in my on my Next folder right here with Get Base. So as you can see, it's C drive www.next. Now you can create any file or any folder that you want where you can store your projects and open your terminal right there. Now in order to create a Next.js app, all we have to do is we type in npx create and then next and then app right here and then after this you can type in whatever name for your project in my case i'm just going to call it mozzie all right then you press enter as you can see it's creating our app so see you after this all right so it's finished so all we have to do now is cd into our project so in this case i called my mozzie so we go into our project right there and all we have to do now is i just want to open it with visual studio code so i'm just going to type in code period and then just press enter as you can see it opens it up all right so we got our project open in visual studio code so all we have to do now is I, before i get started like installing the dependencies i like to set up my file structure accordingly all right so the first thing i know that i'm going to need is a components for my app so i'm just going to create a new folder and i'm going to call it components so that's the first one the second one is i know i'm going to need axios so i'm just going to create a lib folder so this is just a convention for all your libraries that you install you just add it right there so for your lib so like axios and all the other stuff all right the next thing i need i'm going to create custom hook for my authentication so i know i'm going to need to create a hooks folder right here all right so that's the first part so this is just the basics that i will add first the next thing is we have to go to our pages folder since we already created an api with laravel we don't need this folder right here so all we can do we can delete it right there okay so we delete that the next thing is in our styles folder right here the home this one right here the home.module.css i'm going to delete that because i don't need it i'm going to use tailwind for my styling right and the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to create a new file for my environment variables i'm just going to add a dot notation env dot local like that okay so that's for environment variables so i'm just going to close it off i'm not going to add anything i'm just setting up my structure like this all right so that's it so if you guys have any questions please ask them for me in the comment section what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to install our dependencies like axios swr tailwind and the rest all right and then I also want to add a dot prettier file right here, but I want to do that in its own episode. So I'll see you guys there. Do all the YouTube stuff and adios.